Hi, good morning all. This is SK. Uh, I hope you all did good yesterday. Uh, uh, ending up in green. I did okay. Let's let's do the uh, recap what we had yesterday. As you know, uh, in S&P, for me, the most important uh, time frame is hourly chart as of now. Because hourly chart is giving us very clear picture that we are traveling. We are trading in, in a trading range price action. And uh, in trading range price action, as strong as if you see here the bull trend look you know we're gonna get the breakout and it fails the similar way if you see here there was a very strong bear trend and it failed so you know trading range most of the times it, it trade in a certain price range and uh, you know like uh, the most breakouts either the bull breakout or the bear breakout it fails you know so as of now if you see we are the bulls are trying to take the the high of the trading range which is 199.71 ish you know we tried yesterday and we failed and we see very bad lag we'll just follow up in that uh, we'll just recap yesterday very soon as of now the support is about 196.31 ish as you know uh, uh, i'm taking the support from the weekly chart uh, if we let's go to the weekly which is which is going to be a very important day uh, today and tomorrow as we are ending our week if we see weekly chart you know it's looking very bullish and 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 it, it looks like you know like we're gonna we, we're gonna have a follow-through and all that but before we get the follow-through bull follow-through we need to see what kind of resistance we are facing you know we are facing a trading range high which is which is often often lead us to uh, a disappointment you know if you see here let's go here this area this was a trading range price action, you know, like it's, 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 it's so, so predictable, you know, like it's a trading in pr price action there. We, we are trading in a certain price, you know, as bullish, we look here as bearish. We're looking here, you know, similar way, bull candle, bear candle, bull candle, bear candle, uh, bull candle, you know, with the big tails and we saw the low of the trading range. So basically trading range is something which is, uh, you know, like, uh, which often disappoint, uh, uh, bulls or bears with the breakout so as of now i think you know uh, if we didn't see enough buying uh, this candle can fade back and and give us uh, 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 give us uh, what do you call it the bear body as well or or it can give us big tail as well but it's too soon to say as we, you know uh, if we go to the 60 minute chart we can see that we have a lot of buying we we have uh, uh, prices trading in a the price is trading in a certain price range you know it's it's looking very bullish uh, uh, the uh, most of these stocks uh, blue chip stocks which were bottoming which were at the at the price at the buying price for the smart money they have rallied up so overall market is looking that it's recovering but we really can't say unless or until we don't see this stock to trading uh, uh, S&P trading above 202 well above 202 so that you know like we this thing will be our support you know Let's see how will I take my day today. Uh, let, uh, yeah, how will I take my day today? You know, as of now, if you see, you know, like my support is 196. I think at the open we can see a little bit of a sell off. You know, after looking at the sell off, we can bounce back and again bulls can try 199.71 ish. So in between 199 and 196 is the price which I think you know, like as we from last three days we are tra we are trading in this range. I think this is what we are looking today as well you know so either we break through 199 ish you know we can go up to 202 and 203 if we break 196 ish then this will be a very bad looking bad looking uh, uh, chart for s p because you know then we can see 181 and 185 ish you know gain so as of now very neutral as the price range is not giving us uh, price action is not giving us any more information you know it's it's very confused in itself you know we are trading we are looking bullish but uh, overall in 60 minute chart you know we are trading in trading range price action where every uh, uh, where most of the breakouts fail so as of now it's very difficult to say uh, are we going up or are we going down but but i'm neutral i'm thinking you know like uh, 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 about 9.15 ish I'll see what kind of volume come in in pre-market but I think you know uh, like if if we trade around the similar area I will be looking for for any uh, early bottom early low of the day 
and just 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 uh, uh, opposite of this you know like we can see a little bit of a like we saw the buying here we can see a little bit of a selling and then we can see a trend up you know like so I will be looking for a little uh, uh, about a bottom of a day uh, or a little earlier and and take a rally up you know let's recap yesterday what 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 was the price action telling us yesterday? You know, if you see here, what happened in this area? You know, in this area, I scalped few times. You know, in this area, you know, like buyers were 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 there. As as I mentioned in my last video as well, that you know, like we will be uh, uh, looking into early buying. So we saw this kind of a buying, but again, one ninety nine seventy one. I had this price uh, before the open yesterday. You know, it's it's from the same day. If you see here, you know, we poked and bulls badly failed. What happened then? When bulls failed, we saw a major pullback because this pullback was from, from the weak bulls. You know, like they, they were, they, they're not holding their positions. They, they, they took their profit and we saw that. And if you see, we saw the reversal at 1055, which is from the open. So this was one of the hope from, from the, uh, 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 from the strong bulls, from the strong uh, long guys, you know, like with, who have been buying here, buying here, buying every low so that you know we're gonna get next leg up and we're gonna we we're gonna make some profit. But then we saw the next leg down as the short sellers were selling here and the bulls who were holding, uh, who didn't uh, close their position in this area, they were selling as well. So you know that's why we we saw this kind of a price action. Over here, I mentioned that you know double bottom watch. We saw double bottom watch. Uh, uh, I mentioned in my yesterday's video as well that that these kind of double bottom wa watch, you know, like can really give you a good swing, a good good scalp where where you can take one or two trades a day and you can call it a day. You know, like I mentioned here, if you go to my Twitter account, if you go to my Twitter account, I believe yesterday, by the way, it was. It was a good day for me. I mean, like I, I made about ten ten thousand dollars. Okay, so okay, if you see here, you know, like I mentioned about uh, eight forty six. About eight forty six, we had three hours to it. It's about eleven forty six. So eleven forty six, I mentioned over here. I believe it has to be this. There you go. So eleven forty six. You know, uh, uh, just when the candle closed here. I saw right away uh, on a like this okay something very important here you know like 1146 you know just after a minute I mentioned that the double bottom is coming because while the while the uh, candle is forming that is very important you know when the candle was forming most of the time it the bears tried to push it back and it, it traded for four minutes on the high you know that means the buyers are in this area so but there are no more uh, strong sellers strong bears left in this area and buyers are buying for 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 long swing you know so i bought this i sold i bought this i sold so you know just a few trend line it, it really gives us um, a good confidence uh, in the probability that what what side the trade is going you know just price action nothing else you know price action can can lead us to 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 great wins you know like to have great great gains you know and uh, 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 today as as per now I think I am I'm looking for uh, just this kind of a price action but in the other way we can see uh, early sell-off you know as as we will be as we are gapping down early sell-off and then there is there will be a bounce and after that bounce we'll see if bull, bulls have the resumption of their trend or we saw a bull failure bull breakout failure and next leg down so hopefully very uh, uh, very good day today and uh, as we can see the pre-market is telling us a lot so good luck everybody I hope we all make good money today I'll be sharing my views my my uh, 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 my views about my trading uh, on my Twitter account where I mostly put uh, put my uh, Put my trades. Uh, I share my trades before even I'm taking. You know, like it's not that I have taken that trade and uh, uh, then I'm saying I have taken that trade. You know, if you see poked one ninety nine eighty mentioned all in the video. You know, so I mentioned before it's not 
it's not that uh, uh, I'm I'm always right or I'm 100% right, but it's something which is you know like which tells us the probabilities. You know, this was the resistance from yesterday, and it poked here. There was a probability if if bulls fail, everybody was thinking we're gonna get the breakout. When we didn't get the breakout, we saw this kind of a price action. Yesterday was the day when when I believe a lot of guys have made a lot of money because it was so predictable. Price action was telling everything. Good luck everybody, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.